What's up guys, this is Speedy Gaming. Today I've got a video for you. I've got the best top five ways to make caps in Fallout 4. And first, you gotta be at your settlement for the first one. And what you're gonna need is you're gonna need water at your settlement, like a pond or lake or whatever this is. Right now I'm at Sanctuary. And what you wanna do is you wanna go to uh, your bench and then you wanna go to resources and then go all the way over to water and get the indish industrial water purifier. This thing will be in purified water to where you can sell it and stuff. You'll need um, five energy to power it. But just place it as many of these as you can. You'll need a lot of materials as you can see. But like I said, you'll need five power to power it. I just ran back over here to my bench to show you that you will get purified water from it. Even though I've only got two industrial uh, water things, you do get purified water for it. The more you have, the more purified water you can have or you'll get from it. And then you can sell it for like 20 caps each, which in my opinion is pretty good. But now on to the next tip. The next tip is going to require you have a certain perk. So what you want to do is you want to open your pit boy, you go to perk chart, and you want to go all the way over to luck. And you want to go down to fortune finder that you'll need to upgrade all the way which you just need a level one luck to get fortune finder but you need to upgrade that all the way that will ensure that you can get more caps from exploring and then when you kill somebody or kill something in the wasteland i mean commonwealth caps have a chance to explode out of them and it's it's pretty wicked looking but it does work and i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay of both of them just exploring everything and finding more caps so yeah here's the gameplay as you can see I'm just uh, opening cabinets and stuff and uh, I get interrupted by some ghouls but I'm just gonna skip this ghoul fight so yeah this right here is a perfect example of when caps explode out of a creature or person or whatever you want to call them but yeah, caps will explode out of them if you get that perk. But chances are, they'll explode out. Not always, though. Not always. But I'm just searching through these ghouls and finding bottle caps and whatever I can. You won't necessarily always find bottle caps, but you probably will. Ugh. Sorry, that was a yawn. Excuse me. But you probably will. And, you know, I'm just killing this. I found a bobby pin. And you just got to really explore through everything and then you'll find more caps and slowly by slowly your cap uh, intake will increase. You know, I'm just killing more ghouls with this, uh, this bad man pajama shotgun. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Piper. She killed him for me. Uh, just killing, you know, just searching through some drawers and stuff and you'll find bottle caps. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that tip, and now on to the next tip. Right before I go on to the next tip, guys, I just want to show you guys what caps exploding out of a super mutant looks like. You know, I'm just taking down the super mutant with that gap and laser that I just made a video on. It's gonna be making it in the channel. You know, I'm gonna do it. Well, uh, I'm gonna uh, go find out the window. WWE, but caps come out. I got 15 caps from him, you know, picking up caps off him too. And yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, so. And now, here's one other quick tip back at your settlement. If you want to make some, some money for your settlement and the money go into your bench, what I suggest is setting up a scavenging area. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I would suggest that because you do get extra materials from that, and you would find that under resources in your workbench. And then you also got to set up a bunch of these stores. That's what I did, and that's what I found most effective. And that's basically how you just get cap intake. But I don't, I don't have caps right now because I just picked them up but yeah that's how you get cap intake and I hope you enjoyed that free tip so on to the next tip Need something? so the next tip is selling things and what I got here to sell at Diamond City Market is pre-war money and pre-war money goes for quite a bit of cash or 
caps sorry but I, I saw it everybody out here at Diamond City and stuff uh, complete robbed them really cuz I mean look how much pre-war money I got 1300 man that's a piece of cake and I'm only selling around like 50 to 60 caps and basically I steal all those caps and get more caps and guys I hope you enjoyed this video that's basically it I'm just gonna let you see the rest of this video of me selling caps in Diamond City Market and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button please and please subscribe because I'm gonna keep uploading I'm not really gonna try to make a career or anything like this just give tips and stuff and just show off my games I guess but if you did enjoy this video just please hit the like button also don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace let's see what you got here's what we got I've got a few minutes to browse. Got your fix. Sirloin. They're all good. Maybe later. Look. Hey, I'll be right Polly. Back. Fresh meat. I ain't selling nothing else. So. Uh-huh. Let's see what you have. Just pulled this lot from the freezer.